Saturday mornings. Those Saturday mornings, I pushed my bed away from the wall, hoping my sister would not hear, hoping my foster mama would not hear, hoping the old wood would not squeak or crackle too loud and tell of my desire, tell of my weakness, tell of a little girl's dream to see her mother, tell of a black girl's longing for white arms to be intertwined with black ones, tell of my brown eyes need to see hazel Irish ones, tell of the truth of how I could love you, mother, still need you, mother, even after the giveaway, the living away, the way irony played in your manic rage on a Berkeley street, the day you said you needed to find her, my sister, she, not me, offering in my palm my whole black heart, but she, the daughter you never saw, but needed no less. The words still echo in my head, replay each day. Who wants this little girl? Who wants this? Little girl, wrist burns under drunken grip. The trick, my sister said, is to stand the pain. Twisting my wrist skin in a game of Indian chief. When you can't stand no more, you lose. So you gotta howl like an Indian, cause you lost. Child games flashing in my mind, but there is no time to be a child again and anymore. But maybe not forever. And there is no howl escaping my lips, only the train screaming for me. And I want to be on that caboose and go away. A lone pantheris like the poster fuzzy beneath my finger on my basement wall at foster home opens black bosom to me. I'll take her. I'll take your little girl. No howl escapes my lips. The fire of your red hair burns my eyes as you slip into a sea of people and traffic and your battle dress jacket slips into the loud stares of onlookers. The train howls our pain Saturday mornings. I loved the loving to see you, mother. Cried dry tears when you did not show. Pushed my bed back to the window. My sister and I played Indian chief until pain was only a game and I could be a child again. Mm -hmm.